Hello, my name is Rich Perky. Uh, I just got this new five to seven horse mud skipper long tail kit. Uh, gonna do a little assembly video. Uh, first off, I've never bought one, so this is gonna be a first for me. Uh, tell you a little bit about the package I send you. I send you this here coupling. You can see this is what bolts on the back of your engine here. Uh, it's looks pretty straightforward. Um, nothing too complex. Anybody with some basic hand tools and a little bit of want can put this thing together pretty easily. Um, this here is the shaft coupler. You put this on your engine output shaft and your long tail drive shaft. It also comes with this grease zerk or this auto greaser. It's a little cheap screw one. Uh, your transom mount, like I said, and some pretty good instructions. I mean, they're pretty straightforward. Um, really, like I said, I mean, if you can bolt on them outboard on a boat, you can bolt this on pretty easy. So, it came with uh, two, I'm not, I'm not real sure why, but it came with two throttle cables. Uh, I'm not mad, because I mean, if they break, you have a backup. So, one of them is real nice, metal, comes with, like I said, a new a throttle lever. And then, Another one is the little cheaper black ones, and it also comes with another throttle lever. So, and I like this one probably a little better, just it's a little more low profile. I like it. Also comes with a uh, kill switch, so if you fall out of your boat or fall down, it'll kill your motor for you. So, anyway, pretty much the only thing you really need to put one of these together is a half inch socket and a half inch wrench. That's you know, pretty much the only thing it has. It's only got about six or seven bolts, really nothing. So, uh, also, a pair of vice grips. I mean, you can't really go wrong with this. Uh, that brass nut that's on the end of your shaft, it's kind of hard to get off. So, I used one of these and a crescent wrench to get it off. Anyways. Um, and you also need a Phillips screwdriver. So. Anyways, here's your base plate. Here's where your handle will slide in and out and your set screws for that. This is your tilt and trim mechanism and a handle for you to adjust it or carry it. Either way, it's pretty convenient. And also I'll be running the Harbor Freight 212cc Predator motor. Uh, it was the cheapest for me to buy around here. It was $100. Or $99 at one sale at Harbor Freight, so can't really go wrong. If it breaks, blows up, you ruin it, whatever, get a warranty with it. They'll replace it. 100 bucks either way, you really can't beat it. Versus the Honda, which is about 400 bucks, so can't really beat it. Anyways, I'll uh, during the bolt up stage of the video, I will speed it up for time reasons, and after that, we'll uh, show you the finished product. I'll show y'all my first test run on the boat and. We'll go from there. Stay tuned. All right, step one, um, obviously take your motor out of the box, but remove your keyway key. Okay, you won't need this on this kit. So I always keep mine, you know, just in case you ever use your engine for something else. But um, you're gonna get this little coupler here. Okay, it's got three screws on top. I've taken mine out for the assembly, but uh, you're gonna use this, and what it is, is you're gonna put the slick in. See, this end's slick, and this end has some gear holes. You're gonna put the slick in first, okay? And get my keyway lined up on top, so it's a little easier to find. But, Put some grease or some anti-seize on that shaft. It'll be a little easier to get on. It is very, very tight getting on this thing. And what I like, to, what I do on this is I'll screw in my bolt just enough to where I can see the bolt. And I know you're not gonna be able to see this real good, but that bolt is sticking out to where I can see it if I look through it, okay? And this is how you line this up. You just put that bolt in there and you're gonna want them bolts in that keyway, okay? That way when you tap this in there, those are what's gonna hold your coupling in place, okay? So, 
You want to make sure you get this right because if you put this on and it's not right, it's so tight, it's very, very hard to get off. If you feel comfortable enough, leave this bolt down just a little bit, but make sure it's lined up or else you're going to damage the bolt. Okay, so you grab the motor and just tap lightly. sure everything's still working right now, all right? And once you got all that done, you can get your other bolts and put those on, okay? Now, you wanna make sure you don't hit this too hard because like I said, you got this main engine seal right here. You really don't wanna damage that. If it starts leaking, it's a whole big hassle changing it. Just better off just being careful the first time, okay? All right, I'm done with that. We're gonna tighten these up. And instructions just say hand tight. So there you go. Just tighten them up just to where they're hand tight. I'm gonna just torque mine just a little more, but still loose. They're not, I'm not stressing on this at all. part on so we'll move on to step two step two we're going to install this housing uh, very important that this faces up not down okay and the instructions are not very clear on this part but there's two types of bolts in this kit there's some with this non-threaded space right here and then the fine threaded full bolts you're going to want these to bolt onto your engine, okay? The other ones won't work. So, we'll get this going. Put a lock washer on there. There's enough in the kit. Definitely need that. And again, on the tightening, it's hand tight. Or a little torque, but you don't really want to over tighten these. Uh, especially without your anti seize Okay, step three, put the grease circ on. You're gonna wanna separate these, okay? Your, your cap's gonna screws. And why you wanna do that is when you screw this in, it, uh, because your cap screws on the top, it'll actually tighten that cap on to where you can't get this screwed on properly. So either that or you won't be able to get your cap off. So take that off and be careful because that top is very sharp. And then screw your cap on. So you're going to want to fill that up with grease, and that way it'll auto grease your coupling in there. Okay? So that's step three, moving on. Okay, next we're going to mount our motor mount. That's this little block of steel here. And just something to have in handy if you really care. If you have an older motor that's scratched up, it won't matter, but I have this little piece of cloth. I'm going to put it in front of my motor. And uh, that way I keep it from scratching up my face of it. I'm not going to paint my motor, so I'm going to keep it looking somewhat decent. And 
All you need after that is your bolts and you're ready to go. Okay, now we've got our motor mount put on the motor and it's uh, tightened up, adjusted right. Um, the instructions doesn't say which way to do this, but um, for me, for the Predator motor, I had to put the nuts and the washers on top of the motor. So if you don't understand what I'm saying is, I had to get the bolt with the bolt head going from the bottom up and screw it on from the top okay just the way my motor was it wouldn't the bolts would slide in so just a little helpful tip next is going to be putting your shaft and your shaft housing onto your coupling so pretty simple straightforward you get your shaft shove it into your coupling and then you'll just simply twist it until you keep pushing until it slips into the gear okay and you'll know if you've got it by getting the pull start on the pull rope or if you have electric start motor and simply slowly pulling it and if your prop turns then it's in there okay and you just keep pushing until it won't go no more and if you're wondering what these were for these go in right here and that is what holds your prop i mean your shaft and your shaft housing on Okay, go in from opposite sides, that way it doesn't interfere with each other turning. So don't try to drill it out and re-tap it. Like I said, you can tighten it up to whatever you prefer. I'm gonna leave it right there until I am have it on the boat and I've got the motor kicked on and um, I haven't even put oil in it yet so when I put the oil in and run some gas through it I'll make my final adjustment so um, anti-seize grease is what the instructions say to put on every joint if you got it you got it um, some grease tractor grease marine grease whatever you got on hand that'll do pretty good as well um, said you're gonna put this reservoir on screws and you're gonna put grease in here and that is gonna let the you know, grease is gonna drop in there as needed so don't forget to put some of that in there um, instructions he said they're very vague doesn't really say a whole lot on some on certain details like I know that this bolt you see right here that's what goes in right here on your transom mount, okay? You unscrew this bolt here, slides in from the top, screw it on from the bottom, okay? These wing nuts, that's how you set onto your transom, for those who don't know. And here's your handle, and like I said, pretty easy to tell you what this thing does. It just slides into the holes that are on the side of your motor mount. And then those bolts on top screw down for set, pretty much a basic set screw. Anyway, I've already put my prop on. Uh, to put your prop on, you just take the brass nut off the end of it. Mine was extremely hard to get off before uh, beforehand, so I actually had to get some vice grips to hold the, the shaft to turn that nut off the first time. So 
I would definitely recommend some never seize on that or the grease. Um, like I said, the, the, the props are tapered and they have a key slot. That's one thing I'm kind of concerned about on this kit is there's really not a key on the shaft. It's just two little dots on top, okay? So just line that up, push it on, tighten it up as far as it'll go, and uh, you're good to go on that. So like I said, they came with two, so hopefully they don't break, but you know, we'll see how that goes. But alrighty, uh, next step will be mounting this on the boat and uh, just the final touches. So stay tuned and we'll get her going. Okay. As you see, I've already put my prop on. Um, like I said, I said in the previous part of the video, this nut here, when I got it off, it was, or when I first got the kit, it was extremely hard to get off. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain this because somebody told me I probably needed to. All right, so I couldn't get this off, but my vice grips here, you don't want to damage this walk, this little washer here, okay? That's pretty important. So put your grips right here so you don't damage it. And you don't want to scar up your shaft too bad either, so be very careful. But, um, I'm gonna get a little closer and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about on these dots on top of the Okay, so these are the little keyways they have for their kit, which is like I said, the little only thing I've ever I've seen that I've been concerned about. And what you're gonna want to do is put this keyway right here, even with those dots. It slides on fairly easy until it stops. Then you're going to put your lock washer on and then put your brass nut back on. It's very important you keep that washer on there because that thing will back off. So I'm going to hand tighten it until I've done my final adjustments and we'll go from there.